How you doing? This is Emily Striegel coming live from M3. Well, not live, but at this point we're live. We'll, we'll edit this later and have this up on the website for you in a little bit. But here today I have, from Tora Tora, I have Keith and Patrick. How you doing, guys? Hey, great. How are you? We are we having a blast. So glad to be here. Awesome. Well, you guys killed this morning. I mean, or this afternoon, earlier this afternoon. It, the, it, it was felt morning. like the morning. Yeah, it was morning. It, it did feel like the morning, didn't it? That was an early. So they went on at 12 noon. They opened up the entire uh, day today here at M3 in Columbia, Maryland, and woke everyone up. Everyone was really into it. How did you guys feel about the set? I thought it was wonderful. Uh, it went by really quick. I was very excited to see that many people here this early. And, um, it was a wonderful time, and we did real good, and the crowd was great, and it yeah. sounded great, and the people here have taken really good care of us. Uh, it's a first-class event, and we were just happy to be a part of it. It really is. This is my only my second time at M3. I missed last year, but it's always just such a good vibe here. The people are so good, and I think that's that's also just goes along with just the metal community and the rock and roll community in general. But so, is this your first time playing M3? Tell me about your history. It is uh, first time at M3. However, we've played Baltimore several times. It's always been one of the greatest markets for us. We love playing this area. We always have. It's yeah. uh, people are just so good to us I mean and you know the fans here and we've been here and for years you know you guys got to do M3 and and we finally we're just happy to finally get on the bill yeah so I don't even know if you guys know this but Eric Baker who organizes the organizer this is his event um, right. he told Talking Metal that he asked you guys to play because the people so many people were asking for Tora Tora specifically I don't know if you guys even know that but he did some exit polling um, and got so much feedback that they wanted Tora Tora. So how does that make you guys feel? That makes us feel great. And like Keith said, this is, uh, this is such a strong market for us here in Baltimore. I don't know what it is, but <laughs> we love the people. And um, we used to play Hammerjacks back in the day. Yes. Oh, yeah. So I heard Hammerjacks is, is uh, coming back. Did you guys hear anything about this? We have heard that it's coming back. And um, if it does, we definitely want to come back and play for sure. Yes. Yeah, that would be so exciting. I'll definitely have to be there for that event, if they, if, for some shows if they get back here. You guys have a new album called Bastards of Beal on Frontiers, right? Yes. Right. And this is your new album in, in quite a while. So I want to hear a little bit about this, how this came about. Did you guys just were ready to do some more music, or how did it come about? Well, um, we were approached by Frontiers Records uh, a while back, a couple of summers ago. And, um, you know, we've, we've always talked about doing some new music, and it just kind of gave us that push that we needed and and we were like you know and we saw what they were doing with all these other bands and and it's just a, re a really cool it's a cool label to you know keep keep the fans happy with the with the music that they love yeah. from back in the day um so we jumped at the chance and um you know we were so pleased once we started writing because it had been a really really long time yeah and we so weren't really sure yeah you know what was gonna pop out but exactly how did the writing process work so nowadays do you guys all live in memphis are you all local do you were you able to work together on the writing or how did that work well uh anthony is in nashville and uh the three of us are in memphis so and with today's technology you can write yeah. together without being together exactly. but uh, like keith said we just got together and came up with all brand new ideas this isn't some rehash stuff from back in the day this yeah. is all new stuff and we did it real quickly and we were very pleased on what came out because we had no idea when we started writing yeah. what yeah, if it was going to be great if it was going to be terrible <laughs> we didn't know but we were really happy when we got finished writing those yeah. 11 tunes and um we are looking forward to doing another one awesome i love yeah, hearing that you know, they all yeah. come about in different ways i mean some anthony and i would sit down together with acoustics and and then go to the band some you know, Patrick and John and I would be at the rehearsal space and just, just, you know, crank out whatever happened to sound good and feel right, you know, and, and then we would all, I don't, we were just kind of like cramming when the four of us are together that the time we had, we were just piling it on. So, yeah. And so today during your set, how many songs were from the new album? How many songs did you do? We played one song off the new album, yeah. but it was our last song of the set. Right. Right. And, uh, we wish we could have had a little bit more time. We would have played a couple of more, but, you know, we had to play a little bit off of each one. So I know. I Actually, you guys finished your set, and I looked at my, my – I was like, they can't be done. Yeah. It's 1228. I need, like, 
a, a song, we got two but you know what? Wow. <laughs> it was 1228. You guys walked off. I did. I did double check. But I, you know, leave them wanting more. I kind of like these. Some of the bands that are doing the shorter sets, like yesterday, enough's enough. Mm -hmm. Thirty-minute set. I'd seen them a couple uh, weeks uh, before. You know, do a full set, and it's kind of nice. Leave them wanting more. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah, man. Absolutely. And and we're hoping to be back at this event many more times. Yeah. And uh, hopefully, you know. We'll, we'll kind of get bumped up yeah. a, a slot exactly. here or there. But you got to pay your dues, right? Hey, you know, <laughs> we're but all we, we're yeah. all about paying exactly. dues. No problem. Exactly. You guys have the right attitude, man, and it, I really love that. So tell me what's happening uh, rest of 2019. Are you guys going to tour the new album at all? Um, not necessarily tour. I mean, yeah. we're just we're hitting, you know, events like this, all, yeah. that, all that we can and all that makes sense. And, you know, just trying to jump out to some markets where – We've always gotten a great response, which yeah. is Northeast and, Midwest. you know, we, we bust Midwest. Yeah. yeah. We're yeah. going to go out, you know, a couple times a month, yeah. you know, the rest of the year and just cool. weekend warriors, yeah. you know. Well, exactly. And that's the way it is nowadays. It's like the whole industry has just changed so much. Mm -hmm. No really one does has. tours anymore. Everyone does, you know, you do your weekend warriors, right. you do shows here and there. You do the festivals. Yeah. Do the cruises? Yeah, I mean, so yeah. We we've done two cru uh, Monsters Have Rock it? cruises. Yeah, nice. they were oh, a man. lot of fun. Tell yeah. me about. Do you know? I I feel like every year that that cruise happens, we are the only people not on that boat. Oh, oh, man. You, you talk about a blast, yeah. and oh you know God. that the community here at M3 is the same way on that boat. Yep. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot of the same people that meet up every year. It's yeah. just like a big family. I know? see a lot of Monsters of Rock t-shirts walking yeah. around. Oh, it's it's a yeah. great time. I was very impressed. The first time we did it was um, 2017. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, just with how well organized. Yes. And, uh, God, I mean, I have a blast yeah. just watching bands. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's it, a ton that, yeah. I, that I love to see. You know, yeah. So. Are you guys sticking around at all today? Is there anyone you want to see? We're going to stick around all day. Awesome. We have nowhere to go. We're not leaving, going yeah. back home till tomorrow. So. They're going to have to kick us out. Yeah. They're, They're going to have to make us leave. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Well, I saw on Twitter earlier, Vince Neal is on a private jet on his way here right oh, now. So. <laughs> wow. Well, he's going to have to park it next to our private jet. Yeah. Oh, didn't we loan him our jet? <laughs> yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, okay. Just making sure. Ours is still out there? Okay. Hey, all right. All right. <laughs> awesome to meet you guys. <laughs> so fun. Thank you for coming on Talking Metal. And uh, we're going to see lots from Tora Tora in 2019. Make sure you check out the new album called Bastards of Beale. And we'll see you guys next time on Talking Metal. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, guys. That was awesome. That was cool. fun. <laughs>